Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another who another week has passed in the breeding season. And this week it's the week of the pigeons. Lots and lots of drama in our two nest boxes with pigeon in one nest. Um uh, one of the pigeons pulled out a spiral nestling that was breeding in the other side of the nest box, and you do will not believe what it did with it. In the other box, we have pigeons that are being attacked and mobbed a little bit by invasive mina. So you'll have to hear more about that, pretty crazy. So uh, if you like this comment, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it. So another week, let's get into it. We're here at Israel Barnall box number four, pigeon pair incubating two eggs, house sparrows breeding inside in the other side of the nest box. You saw there, one of the, the male pigeon grabbed one of the house sparrow nestlings and threw it in the box and immediately starting to attack this poor helpless house sparrow nestling. Uh, looking like it was going to kill it, uh, really just battering it all around, hitting it, pecking it. Um, poor little thing, I mean, has no chance. I mean, the, uh, you don't like to think of pigeons being aggressive, but they are. But look at here, after a while, the house sparrow nestling actually was able to move closer to the parents. Female here is uh, uh, incubating. And the male all of a sudden looks like he's going to try to feed this house sparrow. Uh, instead of becoming from trying to protect his nest, the pigeon looked like they adopted this little house sparrow nest. When you saw it right in, now house sparrow, that was a male, not a, very upset by this whole thing. And here you can see the, um, the male going through um, and acting like he wants to feed them. Here you can see the male house sparrow looking, doesn't know what's going on. He sees this poor little uh, baby there. Look at the, the, uh, the pigeon even threatens it, uh, protecting it, the house sparrow that it adopted. This is the same male that pulled it out. And there the female is um, uh, in, in, incubating. Look at there, she, she tries to, she's feeding it. She's actually adopted this pigeon pair, adopted this tiny house sparrow nestling and, and adopted it. Unbelievable. These things are just crazy how these events happen in nature. And they basically have accepted this nestling as their own. Um, they have not evolved a way to identify nestling. So this is kind of a, a weird, unique thing. But here they are feeding this tiny adopted nestling. So crazy things happen. Keep an eye out for this one. This is definitely an, definitely an interesting event. And let's see if this pigeon pair will be able to raise this adopted nestling. We're here in Israel Common Kestrel Camera. There's a pigeon pair. And initially in the beginning of the week, they were incubating two eggs. Later, has nestlings hatched. And look at here, while the female's protecting the nestlings, a mine up here, comes to visit the box. The question is, what do they want? Do they want to prey on the two nestlings? Or do they want to actually use a box to breed in? Uh, both are possible. Uh, how's, uh, uh, common miner, there's an invasive species that breed in basically everything. Uh, and, and they also prey on everything. They prey on, on fr uh, fruits, vegetables, and also other birds and insects and lizards and everything. So they're, they're uh, omnivores and they literally eat everything. So here the, the, the pigeon has to protect her the, the, the nestlings because if the pigeon will leave, the, the, there's a chance that these miners will predate and eat it. But look at here, the pigeons were out. Sometimes they leave the nesting a little bit alone. And the miners came. Now the miner immediately does not attack and try to eat or kill the pigeon. So that means they're more interested in actually using the box to, to build a nest for themselves. So these nesting sites are limited and they seem to like this common kestrel box. So uh, here the uh, um, miner starts removing some stuff that it doesn't like. That was actually a, a chameleon head from the common kestrel remains from uh, uh, from last year. And, and, and the other uh, miner has a, a feather, you know, trying to, um, it's probably, it's form of a courtship inside of the box that this is kind of marking this nest box as their own. And luckily, the two pigeon nestlings are quiet, uh, not making a lot of noise, and definitely not trying to threat. If they threaten in any way, 
the miners they may attack. Look at here, the miner co collecting some more uh, different uh, uh, things in a nest and taking them out. Here, the, the miner comes back with nesting material. So the miner does want to breed in this box, but obviously there's a pigeon pair with two nestlings. So this could be a, a very complicated uh, situation. Pigeons in, uh, uh, in the past, miners actually in the past, have killed pigeons in one in one of our live, live cams in the past so uh, believing it or not these t much smaller miners are very aggressive and if they want they could attack and hurt this adult uh, pigeon uh, but you look at there the, the miner is actually almost doing like a nest scrape type thing and looking like it wants to breed and they're courting uh, with one another and the, the pigeon's not happy about this the miner kind of attacks in the pigeon does his wing slap but there again they catch the um the the pigeon parents out and uh, one of mine does go after slightly the, the nestling um if they want they could easily kill these pigeon nestlings but th that doesn't seem to be their motive they seem to be way more interested uh, in using this box which if they do uh use a box and find a way to scare the pigeon parents out they will kill the pigeon nestlings and or eat them or move them out because uh, they won't keep they won't want to keep them in the box um but the, the pigeons are not going to let this happen at least easily they're not going to give up on their two nestlings they've been using this box a lot here again pigeons out miners come back with a little bit more nesting material and again jumping out on the poor pigeon nestlings kind of attacking it over and over again uh, not doing too much damage looks like they're more trying to scare them away but the pigeon are not are gonna not gonna go without a fight this is a crazy situation keep an eye on this uh, common uh, Kestrel camera uh, things may get heated but let, hopefully the pigeons will be able to fledge the fledgings first we're in barn Al Ram on Israel cam and we got this uh, interesting case of having one nestling. Uh, the female does not like to give up these uh, rodents right away to her little nestling because she's also hungry. It's been a year. There's not that much food. But now they're down to one nestling. They just have to make sure to feed and protect this one nestling. Look at that. I explained a bit hard to get. Not giving the mouse away. But this nestling is hungry and eventually grabs uh, the mouse and doesn't waste any time. Gubs it down really fast. Uh, realizes it's kind of competing with the mother at certain times so it has to eat s as soon as possible um, here the, the male is uh, bringing prey so this nestling is actually seems to be growing very well uh, eating a lot because it's alone so all the prey that doesn't his mother doesn't eat it goes to the nestling and he's really cute look at him standing up tall at the fluffy uh, stage look at the mother preening uh, even though they have this competition mother's actually doing a good job under the, their circumstances because she's protecting the nestling we all know what happens if an intruder would come in this nestling would be alone so the female is doing a good job staying around uh, uh, to protect her nestling uh, and, and, and the real hope now is the male will be able to provide enough food until the nestling will be large enough to defend itself and then the female will go out more um, to help out bringing uh, prey uh, um, and hopefully they'll have and an, an be able to find enough prey to feed themselves and the nestling because obviously they have to feed not only the nestling uh, but also um, themselves uh, and this guy's a real cute 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 little nestling uh, very active in this case the mother is eating the head of the rodent before giving it to the nestling they do that a lot it's uh, the most difficult part of the uh, prey to, to eat so she eats the head and then gives the rest of the rodent to the nestling uh, that's a normal thing that they do typically the uh, males that uh, do it a lot too when they bring prey a lot of them are headless because they uh, eat the, the head and then bring rest of the prey so the guy is this little guy is doing a real good job able to swallow the, these uh, mice and in this case vole no problems at all so let's hope that this nestling will grow and fledge because uh, this is our last nestling in israel and we really really hope that this little guy um will be able to survive it has not been an easy time seven eggs five nestlings hatched four of them died he's the last one 
So let's cross our finger for this cute cotton ball looking fluffy little barn owl nestling. We're in Israel barn owl cam number one. Initially in the beginning of the week, uh, the, some of the fledglings were coming back even to eat inside of the box. But every day that went by, we would see these fledglings less and less, less probably flying further and further away, still getting fed by their parents, but becoming more and more independent as every day that goes by. As of now, there's no fledglings in the boxes. Um, um, initially, we had one. So hopefully the barn owls will come back next year and uh, we'll see. Um, uh, maybe we'll have some of the fledglings coming by to visit once in a while. We're in Israel, Florida, cam number one. A pair started uh, making frequent visits to the nest box, uh, which is kind of weird. I don't think they're going to breed in the summertime, but they may be just uh, um, taking control of this nest box, hopefully to breed in the fall. Look at that, the, making his one leg uh, vanish, the one-legged sitting um, thing. And here, here you can see both of the pair courting in, inside of the box. Uh, so we'll have to see, probably have to wait till fall, but I'm sure they'll be coming back. And a similar thing in uh, Florida, barn owl cam number two. Also, you have a pair coming in and out. Uh, this time it brought, um, uh, it's coming in, calling, making lots, lots and lots of, of noise, even bringing prey in, uh, caching it. So hopefully these guys will continue to come uh, in and out and uh, stake their claim for these boxes and, and maybe the late summer or fall we'll get our first uh, breeding attempt uh, in our both of our Florida barn owl live camps. So in the beginning of the week we had our little owls still courting, bringing uh, prey, the male bringing prey to the female, but since then the action has gone down. I think uh, the male realized they're not gonna breed this year, too bad. Uh, they're still coming uh, around mainly on top of the box, so you can still watch these guys. They're still entertaining, coming back and forth, but I guess we're gonna have to wait for next year for the pair to breed. Lastly, we got a griffin vulture cam here the the mother loves to bring nesting material to keep the nest clean um the parents are doing a great job these are obviously the best handicapped vulture parents in the world that adopted this vulture nestling unbelievable parents you can see how even though they're handicapped look at how the nesting has grown up becoming a strong beautiful vulture parents are still hanging around we got the black ravens that could cause some problems so watch this gripping vulture live cam he's the cutest so I really hope you like this video. These birds are always very surprising. We learn so much from them, whether it's the, uh, the pigeon trying to adopt a sparrow or the pigeons trying to defend their nest from invasive minor, minors. The griffin vulture nestling is growing so well. So lots of great stuff going on. I want to thank you all for uh, watching this channel, for providing the timestamps. They're so important, in particular in this week, we could see how all these uh, unique interactions that we got to see them was because some of the viewers wrote them in the chats, different timestamps when they watch things. So thank you so, so much for that. Much appreciated. Thank you, obviously, for all the moderators that collect all this information, date and data, and do just the mo best job ever. Could not do this without you. If you like this co uh, content, uh, and can help and want to help uh, and please donate we i put a link in the description so don't forget to like comment subscribe keep on watching we'll see you later